here's a medical device with the coil, uh, coils and with a pulse generator that creates the pulses for the coil. And what, what the patient will do is, is uh, take the coils and place them on top of the head in such a way that, that those coils we're seeing here are activating particular parts of the brain. It's like you, you, you're these two persons, the one person out here looking at yourself saying, pull yourself together, and then yourself, who is actually really, really trying, but can't. So there's this immense inner fight about, this is not difficult, you can do it. And then there's other parts that say, well, maybe, but I can't. Life just extremely complicated when you're depressed, and, you can't, and, and, and which actually leaves you kind of motionless and stunned, numb. The way it activates the brain is that the electrical impulses will affect the small capillaries, the small blood vessels in the brain. And one thing is that it can induce formation of new capillaries. After being treated with this medical device for 30 minutes, after seven days, most of the patients have a feeling of being having an an improved mood. They will score much better on a depression scale. How does this compare to electroconvulsive therapy, which is extremely controversial because people think that ECT um, damages the brain perhaps in the long term and changes personalities. Yeah. Are you working on the same principle as this or not? Let me emphasize <coughs> that this device uh, imposes extremely small electrical pulses on the brain. So small that the patient cannot sense when the patient is treated. And ECT are huge electrical fields that are imposed on the brain, causing memory loss, etc. And we are, it's a total different technology. It has nothing to do with ECT. First of all, it lifted the fog, it, it, the depression, and, and most importantly, also the anxiety. Both of uh, my ailments disappeared quickly. It was like uh, somebody hit the reset button, and I was back to normal.